to turn back up. I think she heard me open the door. Then call for something. Cookie 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 I don't know, I kind of call really... Call the fucking door taps. This is why get other people's business. <laughs> I peek out again. No. She's closer. <laughs> no. She's coming closer, guys. <laughs> I close the door and I lock it. <laughs> um, what should we do? In the corner, I'm quietly chanting, magic, magic tells lies, magic, magic. Oh <laughs> it's just be like a childhood nursery rhyme that we learned in Garage. I just want to like snatch her up and be like, can you pull yourself together? And then let her go. <laughs> I don't deal with this. So here is where I'm at. If we deal with this. She's totally normal. It doesn't bother her at all. If we deal with this, we need to do it quietly. And we're not very good at quiet. <laughs> we need to do it quietly because if we do it quietly, handle this. I can go down. I can cast pass without shit. trace. And nobody hears us. We're still thinking about getting your fix at a moment like this. <laughs> I said after. Oh, no, I know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Does passive without trace would it cover <laughs> a firefight or would it just cover our movements? Because a lot of what I can do is not quiet. Oh. I'm quiet. I'm to reroll the entire damn party right now. <laughs> yeah, we're about to KO. Well, yeah, so, <laughs> so a veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your uh, companions from detection. So it's, it makes it silent so nobody can hear you, and it casts shadows so people can't see. So it basically gives you the ability to pass through places without being detected via sound or vi uh, sight. Okay, but what if it has really, really good perception, though? Well, it doesn't matter if it sees us. We just want to make sure that. Or I could just do silence because I can oh, cast silence true. too. That's true. Silence might be better because silence could cover the the spells as to well. To be fair, though, right. no one should come out. No sound can be created no within what. our pass through a twenty foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range. So as long as we keep the battle within a twenty foot radius, nobody will hear anything. And if we honestly, they shouldn't come out anyways because they'll be afraid to get killed. Correct. Especially if they hear something. Probably in the middle of something, too. Maybe. What if we open the store and she's like right there and we pull she her in here? She probably is. <laughs> we pull her in here and then take her out. I could cast, I could cast open silence the door, right now. Snatch the ghost and get back into the room. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck are you going to do? Just grab Big surprise, motherfucker. Listen, either, either she's a magic user. I, I'm out of act. Either she's a magic user. <laughs> Oh, she's a troubled soul, and we need to help it move on, but... One of those I can deal with the other, and maybe not so much, but... Which is which? If it is a magic user, I can affect it. <laughs> if it's a troubled soul, we can't help a troubled soul move on? I could, I uh, Safine could maybe help to turn it away, but I don't know that we could defeat it if it does not respond to... Our physical attack. Our usual bag of tricks. Right. Um, can I look under the door to see if the purple light is close? Oh it's just gonna be her eyes. <laughs> I love how you're like, Reagan's like getting squished up further into the chair. You're awake now! <laughs> um, you lean down uh, and like. <laughs> or is there like purple light shining in under the door? No, you don't see anything. Nothing. Mm -mm. I don't, I can't uh, tell yeah. like there's light down the hall. Mm -mm. Oh. Ah, frick. Gotta open the door again. <laughs> yep. No. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, well, what's our plan of action? Should I cast silence? It's almost like Sarah knew that we couldn't stay so away I, from something like this. <laughs> if I cast silence, I'm out. You're out of what? Cuckoo, cuckoo. That takes two key points. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Wait, what happened to your other key points? I will only have one left after that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Not that my fisticuffs will do much on a ghost. My fisticuffs. But... Not until level four when you can punch specters. Uh, is that four yeah. or five? Is there any? I don't know. This is where we make the choice. Are we interfering or are we staying out of it? I feel like... Will you wonder forever if you don't go and check it out and try to We could it? get some XP. And level up right now. Yeah, we could. Or well, die. I don't know if level Guys, up. we hit 400 followers! Woo! Good job! Oh, I'm so proud of you. That was like 10 minutes ago. That's when I said this oh, to you. Oh, I thought you meant we had four left. No, okay. that's when we hit Celebrating. 400. Good job! Yay! I'm so proud of you! That's amazing. That's amazing. So, what do we, get, what do we want to do? 
All in favor of fighting this purple glowing woman, raise your hand. I think we could do it. I think if we, we die, we die in glory. <laughs> you haven't invested a year of life. Listen, <laughs> listen. Remember who's going to hide in the room and close the door once we all leave, so at least one person will live on to remember our memories. <laughs> remember <laughs> our member. Remember, remember. Remember, remembers us. Yeah, <laughs> remember, it's so remember. fucking funny. Fucking funny. <laughs> all right, so. Is that in Canada? Does she really? That's really I just decided, remember. If we hey, open the door, you cast silence, and we keep it within a 20-foot radius. We could try to take care of it. Is we it just killed? have yeah. to be quiet. Well, then once we cast silence, we'd all be quiet, right? We could scream all we want. Within a 20 foot radius. So yeah. here's the deal Do we want to straight up attack her first, or do we want to try and reason? Can we like hold to... like an action, sir? Hmm? Can we hold like an action? Or like button? ready an hey, action? You yeah, you can, you can ready an action. Cool. I think that's what we should do. Okay. I could ready my crossbow. Well, you have to cast silence. I can do that right before I open the door. Okay. I don't know how long that spell lasts. Uh, it does not find out. I don't have a... I'm going to have holy water ready in one hand. And then we should get you a squirt yeah, gun. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Giran. I can find a squirt bottle here somewhere. Very It'll be like a little... Pu- like a pump one, though. Yeah. <laughs> like a little like freaking oh, French oh, press, like, yeah. coffee makers. But... <laughs> It's concentration up to 10 minutes, so you just oh, can't lose a, concentration. Okay, we just gotta and if you're, that minutes. means if you're hit, you lose concentration. Uh, Yikes. Don't get hit. All right. Is okay. it a roll? Hmm? Like if, if you, you roll a save for it. If you get hit, you have to roll a save. Yeah, if you get hit. Okay. All right. Well, I can... Should I cast silence and then we open the door? I think if we open the door, you cast silence immediately on the hallway so that it encompasses the hallway and our, the inside of our room. And then we try and do what I'm we can. The level one oh. Because I kissed Tangra. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I see. Can't I just make the point uh, myself? And then wherever I go, it's a 20 foot radius around me. Sure. Okay, let's yeehaw because the DM right, doesn't let us I'm, think like this forever. Something's going to happen to us. I'm going to prep my crossbow. We're going to ready at the door. And then I am going to expel two key points okay. to cast. Silence, and the point is myself. So wherever I go, twenty foot radius around me. And I have holy water ready, and okay. I'm going to. So it's myself. technically a forty foot, forty feet in diameter because it's twenty foot radius. I'm also going to prepare yeah. Yeah. my Correct. channel of divinity. So I'm going to have a, the thing of holy water in my hand, yeah. and I'm also going to have channel of divinity ready. Okay. Um, you can channel divine energy to fuel magical effects a number of times per short rest based on your level. Alright. So that should be enough to be like, back, demon. <laughs> I'm back. We really are in Ooh. Catholic town, guys. demons. <laughs> hey. What's up? Might have pecked it a little. Oh, pecked what? I can't use like half of my spells inside of silence. Uh, oh! Because I can't talk. Look at her. Oh, oh my gosh, her. neither can I. Well, I haven't yeah. casted it yet. Yeah, you did. You yeah, said you, did. you cast I silence did. on yeah, yourself. You jump right outside of it and cast the spell and then jump back in. All, <laughs> all of my cantrips are verbal. <laughs> works. Literally, yeah, oh. all of mine have verbal components. <laughs> like you might have to stab some shit. So, yeah, you my, so all remember what's so, so, <laughs> so, this is the scene. Oh my god. Tam's in. Readies his crossbow. You guys are like he getting ready. This was a good plan. Temzin, he does this like thing with his hands, and he all of a sudden everything around Temzin just goes very quiet. And he throws open the door, and you don't hear the door. And he turns you, and he's like, and you hear nothing. I also don't need a verbal component for my channel of divinity, though. Just mm-hmm. so you know. This is true. And. Even, like, even someone's foot scraping across the floor. Um, There's no sound. This makes me think of those chambers you go into that drives you crazy in, like, two <laughs> seconds. So this is gonna be, like, crap, and you're just, like, make sure down out the door, because we can't hear anything now, so gonna look down the door. Okay, so Tamsin... Readied with my crossbow. Tamsin peeks out, readied with his crossbow, and there's nothing there. Oh, good. Because okay. she's standing behind you! <laughs> Either side. There's nothing in the hallway. Check the ceiling, my guy. <laughs> this is 
whispers. I'm silent right now. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> he just starts. Cussing. I'm gonna step out in the hallway. Okay. He just starts cussing up a storm, but we can't hear him. So <laughs> 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 you just see him gesturing wildly. Um, but yeah, no, you continue silently down this hallway. Um, ceiling, ceiling, and, ceiling, 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 ceiling. And it's not just like silence. It is literally just the absence of sound to the point yeah. where normally in a quiet room, like, you can hear your heart beating in your ears. You can't even hear that. I can feel it, though. You can feel it. <laughs> so you're, like, you're pretty sure I'm you're alive. still alive. But you, but I'm you do see. He's constantly checking. Cause you do see the purple glow down the stairs. Oh, uh, <laughs> the, so the I'm in completely <laughs> silent. I'm just gonna try to steady profit off of this. I'm gonna approach the stairs a little bit closer. Oh, okay, and oh. as and you know, Temzin has like left the room. He's so gone he down. Silently. Yeah, I would be super silent. Him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Okay, so we can't do anything. <laughs> so oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. So if I'm you guys gonna... are coming, you needed to have come within that queue because I'm being yeah, silent I'm, right now. Yeah, I'm behind. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you guys yeah. are in twenty feet the, long, in the yeah. sphere of silence. Oh, that's true. It is twenty feet. And you. uh... Oh God. You just continue down the hallway. You say you go down the stairs. I, I oh approach God. like the foot of the stairs before like you would actually start going down like just to see how much more I can no, see. I... And she's standing right there, yeah. and Wait. she is at the base of the stairs. No, she's I'm like you went here. down to go down the stairs, and she's like the <laughs> right there, like and at the she's stairs. like no, on the stairs. stairs. <laughs> but she's not standing on the stairs. <laughs> she's she's, she's hovering. Oh good. Like, oh, on good. This, like on the like if you so were to go the down, stairs, we're up here right at the top. Yeah, she's like probably a foot and a half. Is it like the, out that over here? Biggest, the just stair. just hanging out over the stair. It's like and that midway biggest, down the staircase, good. but she's not on the stairs. She's floating. Yeah, Wait, she's just hovering on the stairs. The, it's like that biggest stair before it takes a turn to go down even further. It's like that big one yeah. in the middle of it. And she's just staring at you, and it's and it's definitely a woman. Mm-hmm. Is she blonde? No, she's not. She has dark hair. Interesting. And furious eyes. Huh. Am I and feeling anything now? <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel it now? <laughs> <laughs> she, you're feeling whatever you're feeling as she moves toward you. And I'm going to step back. And I'm going to point. I'm just going to stare. And she takes another step. Boy, you gonna have to re-roll, Timson. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna this hold up it. my the holy water and mm-hmm. like hold up the symbol of the goddesses and look her dead in her eyes. Like, <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> and she looks at the holy water and she looks at you and she lunges. Pass. She lunges. Yeah, fire. She lunges. Yeah, go ahead and fire. Mm-hmm. At that point, she, I can do channel of divinity, right? Yes. Remind me exactly what that is. That's a great question. I don't know. I had it. Hold up. Hold on. <laughs> it just says Which you can channel divine Sorry. energy to oh, fuel magical it? effects a number of times per no, short that rest that based on your level. Oh, this phone? Channel on yeah. divinity, turn undead. As an action, you present your holy symbol <laughs> and speak a prayer of century. Each undead can see or hear you. See or hear you. Okay, okay. Within 30 feet. Of you must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. A turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. So if it can see or hear you, good is the way get, it's phrased. Get so me can't. behind me, Sam. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I think as a reaction, I can throw my water, right? Um, yeah, you could. Okay. So I'm. Yeah, let's go with that, that plan. I'm not firing yet because she's doing that. Okay. Uh, no, that would be a five. Hell okay. yeah! And okay. also, shush, <laughs> you can like douse out some of the water. Okay. Um, let me see what that Get the so, behind me saying. Here's my thought. <laughs> did, we, did we establish that sign language is a thing? We have not. 
No. But we also didn't say if we were competent in it. Yeah, well, I had discussed it as part of my background, but I'm not sure if we finalized that. Okay. Um... I don't think that anyone else would know it unless you've, like, spent this time teaching them. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna gesticulate. Something for the future if we get out of this one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna... You're in the room. You don't know it. Remember is. standing, like, in the doorway and she's, like, simultaneously terrified of ghosts but also, like, really concerned about everyone dying but also doesn't want to be alone but also does not want to be anywhere closer to the ghost. So she's standing in the doorway doing that, like, thing at a slumber party where everybody else is doing something that's gonna get them in trouble but, like, she's you really don't know close. where to go. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Mm-hmm. LOL. Um, now, yeah, in the real life. if Sabine makes it out of this, she's gonna torture Remember with ghost sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, let me see. Hmm. Not to get, like, super emo or anything, but in my head, it makes a lot of sense for a warrior from Berlin to want death to be final. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All yeah, right. no, so. that's so legit though. Who mm-hmm. wants a weird actor? Okay, you do. You do have to roll to hit though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that what? Is that? It's anything? going to be a ranged attack is with that? an improvised weapon. So just roll d twenty. And that's it. Yeah, just d twenty. Twenty natural twenty. Oh! Yeah, no, Sabine, your gods hear you Yay. as you not only channel this divinity and y'all see her, her holy symbol. My little teacup. She's hoisting her teacup up. (laughs) And she... That's why she does the drugs. (laughs) She lobs this uh, canteen at the spookums. And it hits. Yeah. Go ahead and roll 2d6. Eight points of damage. Okay. And right. does it, like, respond? Does it run? It or? it tries, um, but it can't seem to go any farther than it is on the stairs. Oh, so we have it trapped. For she's the trapped. You oh, have it trapped. Jones. So I'm going to kind of catch the fiend's tension. Yes. Oh, uh-huh. And wait, I nod. Uh, I'm going to voice this because yeah. we're recording this. We have to try to get out. To get it out. It's stuck to the house somehow. It's stuck to the inn. Right. Whoa. Well, okay, wait. If It's upstairs, though. It, it can't go past the downstairs. What if the bloodstain's not the victim's? Oh, what if it's hers? What if it's hers? We gotta find the body. So just gonna go mop up it. this blood with this holy water. <laughs> I mean... All right, and then I go upstairs, <laughs> and I'm like... Well, we're already upstairs. Yeah, we're, well, like, in the hallway. All right. We're at halfway. So, as Safine goes up, the specter oh. turns to Angrod. Oh, no. Mm, good. And it lunges. Hey, y'all, I literally have nothing I can use right can now. Can I shoot it now? Nothing that they can see, or... Uh, okay. yeah, you can, you can fire. Nine. No, you're fine. Oh, good. Okay, so it goes ahead and it lunges for Angerod. Um, but the way that it moves forward, it comes too close to Safine and, like, recoils back. So I'm going to kind of... <laughs> come back, come back. Give, to give me. what Give to it you? to me, the holy water. Oh, I give it to you, I guess. Okay. And so I'm going to take the holy water, I'm going to go back down the hallway to where the blood stain is on the floor, and I'm going to just pour the holy water on the blood Don't stain. Don't pour all of it out. Not all of it, but like, just to okay. see if anything happens. Nothing happens to the specter. Okay, cool. You gotta Who's burn fine? the body, salt it, and burn it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you say silently because you are in silence. <laughs> um, so Temzin's the point, right? She Can she come into the... Temzin's the point for silence, you're the point for her. Okay. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, like, lightly push Timson back just enough to where I'm at the border of the silence. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna t- try talking to, or can I see it? Can I identify it? Can I make a roll to identify what kind of, like, jujubes that they've got going on? Um, you can do an, I guess you could do. Like a you medicine could do, or an arcana check You could do, something. go ahead and do a medicine check. Okay. Does it glow? No. Fucking hell. 
That's a freaking nat one, but after all my shit, it's a freaking 13. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what do you have? How do you have a plus 12? I have six in wisdom and then the six in proficiency for that. Oh, no, it's or, just no, no. six. Sorry, no. eight. It would okay, be eight. it would be seven. Yeah. No, it would still six, seven. It would be eight. After I read that one, the top one. It'd be eight, because it's six for, um... Oh my gosh. It, I have a plus six to my medicine. Yeah. yeah. And it's two for proficiency. It's the two's already built in. So yeah. you have a plus so four for seven. your wisdom. So yeah. Um you can't tell much. Boo. Um, Hates. but it looks like but what you can see is it looks like something small strangled her. Hmm. That's really sad. That's really sad. Um, is she a brothel worker? Oh, sad. Okay. Fucking sad. Someone killed. <laughs> All right, Daniel. You said you wanted to shoot the specter. I want to talk. Well, no, no. I was gonna, no, no, no. Okay. I was going to see because it was going to lunge at her. Okay, but gotcha. then she moved. I'm going to put my hand up to you guys to not do anything just yet, like to okay. hold it. Yeah, Tenzin's right. being very like. It, I think this is it, a soul that needs help. Yeah, it's so. definitely like trying to like get away from you, Safine, and it's yeah. like hovering at the middle of the stairs. I'm gonna slowly step out, I'm gonna step just enough out of the silence to be able to talk to them. Okay. I would like to help you. If I can. And it says nothing. Looks like you weren't treated well while you were alive. Doesn't respond. I don't want to have to cleanse you. (laughs) in such a way. But I can help you. And she just continues to just remain as far from you as she can be. Maybe she lived somewhere. Like, maybe her spirit died somewhere. Or like, I hate in to one say of the rooms. It, but this might be a more than one night thing. If we want to really get rid of it. Because we might have to find whatever. Um, get rid of that. Would be my thought. If you guys want to take a closer look at her neck, maybe we can see or find or... I can't persuade her to say anything to me, sir. Like staying in the cone of silence. She's, she's just... She's not saying anything. Could she be persuaded to say something? That's a, Yeah, like could I try to persuade her? You could try. You could try persuasion. You can certainly try. <laughs> I need you guys. Can can I try persuading or someone else? Yeah, you can try you persuading. Just step outside the yeah. home. Which she can Where? just stand next to me. Yeah. While they're talking, can I just try and see everything there is to see about her? Like, her clothes, do they look modern? Do they look older from what I can see? Like, all of that. It's a style you're unfamiliar with. She's definitely from Giron, based on what she's wearing. Um, But other than that, she... She looks human, but not entirely. Like, she looks like she is... Whatever whatever caused her to remain, she has remained long enough where the humanity is gone. And the her neck, what cause of death? Is there anything I can see about that? Go ahead and roll investigation, because you're standing close enough to... Yeah, I'm kind of um, level with Safine. Yeah, right up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna be a ten. Um, no, you can, it, it definitely was small, whatever it was, but you can't tell. Now, you said that Remember was standing in the doorway? Yeah, like, in the doorway, half watching what's happening, but every time she catches sight of the ghost, she's like... Fuck, like back into the room, and then she's like, right. "You gotta go take care uh, of it. They're gonna die." But like, right. she can't commit. She's out of doing the way. dog the, back and forth. Uh, like. Now, the things that remember can see. She doesn't see any light in this being whatsoever. It is just oh. darkness. 
it is it's only on the hours. darkness. <laughs> Can I try to persuade her to get her to talk? Like, is that... Will she talk or no? You're probably not gonna get her to talk. So she's okay. evil. We can definitively say she's yeah, evil you, at this you, point. Yeah, like, you, like, at least remember would be definitively sure that this is not even really a human. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like it's a soul. It's not like it's something that can be redeemed. There is... Nothing. It is just... It is beyond redemption. How do we kill this thing, guys? I think I can sacred well, claim it. Did the physical attacks work? We we didn't nobody's attack physically it attacked yet. it yet. Uh, I think okay. I could sacred flame her and she'll go down. Try it. We're outside. We're just outside of the cone, so you can do your vocal. Ah, correct. People like might hear, um, but yeah. Would I know if that would affect specters or not the sacred flame? Uh, Arcana check. Ooh. Sixteen. Um, you know that you know that they are you don't know that they are um, susceptible or weaker to radiant things but you know that they can resist I will give you this acid, cold fire, lightning thunder and then bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. What does that even mean? That means that whatever, if you attack with that, then it's halved if they right, resist right, it. Right. Mm-hmm. So I can use radiant, but it's not... It's not like it's going to be doubled or anything. Right, it'll just be regular. Mm-hmm. Which is like, with the holy water, like, it was... You got a crit on that one, but, like, it just attacked as it would attack, yeah. yeah. Oh! I did get a crit, didn't I? Yeah. So that should have been 16 points. Whoops. It is. I marked it. Aw, thanks, friend. Um, so then the question is, do we want to do we want to just go to sleep, or do we want to try and kill this thing? Yeah, let's try and kill it. I think we should We're too deep. Yeah, I think we should kill it. His Jemson's like, me. If there's, yeah, right? He's like, whatever. I think if there's no redeeming it, and there's, it's not willing to well, talk to I us. just wonder if we're going to be... Like, we're not going to be very effective attacking it, but. I'll we're give you guys, I'll give you guys 30 seconds. Because I've let you, I've let you discuss yeah. Yeah. quite a while. This is the most yeah. intelligently we've ever gone about a yeah. battle. I think we should take it out. It's not, yeah. it's not good. I'm just going to, after looking back, seeing Remember's face, hearing them try to discuss, I'm just going to go ahead and cast uh, Magic Missile and send all three right at her. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wanted to save you. Uh, can um, I... And I'm asking this now, because it would be kind of like a... Because she has to verbally say it to initiate the spell. Could I run up right after she says it, so that the silence wouldn't, like, kind of engulf mm-hmm. after she's casted it? Okay, so as soon as she, like, ver- does the verbal right, component, I'm going to run up. All right, so okay. you go ahead. Yep, roll. Yep, so they hit automatically. Each one does 1d4 plus 1. Okay. So... Five and four is nine, and three is twelve points of damage, force damage to her. Okay. Magical force damage. Force damage. Okay. Noise. All right. Um. And so, it you see this just explosion of magical energy that as Temzin rushes up towards Angrod, the sound that this would have made in the building is just consumed. Um. She does lunge toward Angerod. Because she took damage. Mm-hmm. Um, but she misses, again, coming too close to Safine, okay. which it is now Safine's turn. Okay. I'm going to do Sacred Flame. crossbow ready? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't know if that just means I'm It'll ready. Or... Yeah, you, it just means okay. you're ready. So I'm going to push Temzin back, because I know she needs to speak. Yeah, it has to make a deck save of 14. I'll notice and I'll move back. On, what I'm is it? Like, dash, dash. Uh, Dex 14. For a sacred plane. Okay. They're used for you being a speedy little dude. Nat 1. Yeah, so yeah, no. 1d8. 4. This thing sees your attention yeah. turn toward it, and um, as you yell your... Um, do you yell sacred flame? Is that what yeah, it is? It's a verbal one. Okay, so as yeah. you... As you murmur, sacred flame, um, 
you see this bright, brilliant flash of light fill this space, and the specter is gone. Oh. Mm. Oh, snap. Gone or gone? You each get 125 experience points. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. Oh. I'll take it. Ghost is dead. That was so... Who are you going to call? Was... <laughs> It wasn't like it was a super like strong thing. Like if it got if it touched you, it was bad. Do you want to know what it is if a specter yeah. touches you? So they have something called life drain. Oh, oh good. Right. The target must succeed on a DC 10 Constitution saving throw. So if she had touched you, you would have had to roll a con save. Uh-huh. And then if she if you fail that, then your maximum hit point is reduced to whatever she rolls. Ew. Ooh. So. Or its hit point is maximum is reduced by an amount equal to the damage taken. So if you had taken, you know, nine damage or something like that, then it, your maximum health points would have been reduced by nine until you take a long rest. Ooh. So oh, specters yeah. at higher level, they're fucking Deadly. intense. And you can even get, like, a poltergeist variety. But I was like, Ooh, no, fancy. I just want to see the specter. How many is <laughs> wild? That's so fun. One. 125. It's so sad. We did try to talk to it this time. It was like, hey, friend, don't yeah, no. be bad. And that's the thing. That's the difference between specters and ghosts. Ghosts have that kind of feature where you can, like, talk to them and figure out what happened. Specters are literally just rooted to a place and an mm-hmm. event. And then they are... Um, Like, their features are they can't speak, they're Uh, beyond redemption, they are chaotic evil, Uh, they're, like, they're just, and so they're, they, like, their whole thing is that they, um, like, basically living people make them furious, Mm -hmm. and so they just want to destroy. What was the experience points again? 125. Yay. So since the specter's gone. (laughs) (laughs) Um... We're all sure it's gone now, right? Hey, yeah, maybe I don't see anything. We don't reward money tomorrow. For we said they weren't offering any rewards, though. We, we can't. About it. Yeah, yeah, we can't, we can't talk, talk about, about this. But I could just say I'm a priestess. They have a priestess down the line, and I could just say I prayed to the gods that they would leave, and then they did. Are Which you going to go under investigation? I kind of did. I don't think that's a great idea. No, I don't oh, think that's fine. Great. Tell her to steal the money then. <laughs> well, I think I'm, it's a proposal. <laughs> They'll make more money. And besides, they'd probably, probably blame it on whatever they believe is here. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to go downstairs. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Angra just kind of shakes her line? head and mm-hmm. goes to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's just of done. Course. I'm tired. Tempting's walking back to the room, too, so his code of silence, he, he puts down once they get back to the room. All right. So you go better roll some good stealth rolls. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna support this. Oh no, it's just me. It's yeah. just me. All right. So what am I rolling for? Um, you are definitely rolling for stealth. Stealth. Cool. Yeah. Is the banister like the staircase banister just fucked? Like, is it just ruined from magic missile and like sacred flame that we did? I mean, magic missile is pretty precise. No, it doesn't. Like sacred flame is literally just divine radiance. So there's like there's no sign Wrong that way. y'all did anything we except like a call. puddle from where the holy water was. Nice. I put the rug back. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, she's gonna back. go back out to the stable, and while she's like passing the front room, she's just gonna stick her head in and go, They're sex workers, don't take their money. And then leave. <laughs> so it's 13, do I pass? Yeah, you do. Cool. <laughs> she's like, Hey! So, <laughs> I'm gonna steal two bottles of wine. Alright. I'm gonna steal three fourths of whatever they have in their drawers. <laughs> three fourths, <laughs> damn! Hey, at least she's not taking everything. I know, I'm with something. How much is that? <laughs> You're going to get uh, 25 silver pieces. Cool. They didn't have that much. Yeah. Not out in the middle of the inn. That's true. Yeah. True. She um, doesn't care. So I come back up. I'm going to give you your bottle of wine. <laughs> I'm going to keep one for myself. I'm going to pocket the silver. <laughs> All right. Welcome to D&D. That's the first time in this group we've had somebody just go raid the bar. <laughs> I also have a secondary inventory page like halfway through my book because I didn't have that shit. Alright. So the rest of the night passes uneventfully. Get a um, long rest. Yep, you guys Good. all get a long rest. You get your health back, you get your spell spell slots back. And morning dawns on this bright and beautiful day. And and the um 
the tabaxi woman howl she's downstairs and she's like looking at the wine and she's scratching her head a little bit and she's hmm how, sh how strange oh uh, good good morning morning good morning i trust you slept well i heard nothing and it seems that everyone We're obeyed all still orders here, so, so yes. that's a that's a plus Yes, it, it is, and she's, like, double-checking the wine again, and she just kind of, like, shakes her head. And Um, well, were you wanting uh, meals this morning, or are you just heading out? How are you doing, gang? Um, is anybody hungry? I'll take a meal. I could eat. Yeah, I remember, grabs 20 for I'm silver hungry. over. Grab some brunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, give, I give everyone enough silver to pay for the meal. As, <laughs> as painted for, you know... She's she's um, well, <laughs> this is this is quite a bit for uh, for just some bread and. Do you have any uh, cheese or anything that could I could take with me on the road? Or? Uh, certainly, I can put something together for you. Will the rest of you be dining then? I'm starving. Sure. Uh, please. All right. And <laughs> she <laughs> she goes back and she she comes out with a few loaves of hard. Not hard, but like it's a crusty brown bread, uh, honey, butter, um, there's some cheese, some cold meat, and some like dried bits of fruit, and a uh, mug of uh, cider for each of you. This is wonderful. And she gathers up. Do the light bugs. <laughs> she, <laughs> she gathers up, remembers 23 silver, and she's like, well, uh, thank you, thank you very much. I was very curious. curious. How? Yeah. How? 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 Am I southern? Yeah. How? You definitely are. Mom, mom, mom dropped it off on us. Okay. <laughs> All right, best guy, going to Scrabcaster now. <laughs> on our way. Well, how? Uh, thank, thank you, you. so. Oh, go ahead. Oh, that's that's. that's uh, thank you for letting us stay the night and for this breakfast and. Um, Wish you well with your fine establishment here. Well, thank you very much. Um, like I said, as soon as the uh, priest gets here from Watervale, then I'm sure that our troubles will end. Well, I think fate will uh, smile kindly on you even before then. Agreed. One, one can only hope. Uh, mm. Lovely to see you again, Rinna. I'll be around. And she's like, oh, what I is <laughs> She's like, I could have sworn I had two more of them. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> I'm a rogue. So you guys, you guys go ahead and you get your horses uh, saddled up and you head out of Clacton. Clack the pan. Clickety, 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 clickety. Yay, on to Scrabcaster! <laughs> Ray, is that the next place of business? Yep, that's the next. Scrabcaster is the next one. Uh, we are at 3 hours 45 minutes. Do you want to keep going or do you want to wrap up here for the day? I'm good. I'm ready to fight some more things. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to, but I wasn't going to be the first to say it. <laughs> All right, how are the we rest didn't of you? We did find anything last time. We might take, like, a break for a couple minutes and just kind of... Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I'll how do here. the next... We'll go ahead and star swipe to Scrabcaster. Oh, wow, that was fast. How do the next four days pass for you all? There is a much larger river that you cross with a much, uh, a much larger bridge. Um... Sophie, have you ever gone swimming? Yes. <laughs> that sounded very dubious. I was just gonna work on I mean, jewelry. There's not much, it's so cold. We do go swimming, but usually in the spring. Hmm. What about you, remember? Have you ever been swimming? Just for fun? I've ever been swimming. Um Thompson hasn't been swimming in forever. You live you live in the capital of Berlin, so there's definitely like it's kind of like Australia's ocean. Oh. There's lots of box jellyfish and saltwater crocodiles and like <laughs> weird snakes. So swimming yeah, isn't really like the up. utmost importance. They're definitely more like desert dwellers <laughs> kind of thing. No. 
Well, this seems like an educational opportunity, yes? They have snakes here. They have alligators. They have... That is an alligator. Sharks. They have... You oh, know, I know the, that. like, the eels? The eels that live in rocks, they have those here? I don't believe so. It's but a river. Don't... No. I mean, I no. grew up on a lake. We don't really have that stuff here. You don't have For the most like part. Turtles or like... Well, we have turtles. You don't like turtles. Okay, but like, do you have turtles? Or do you have like... Turtles. <laughs> turtles. Garan, Garan, you know, just has like... We have like the yellow you, belly sliders. You and know, like the ones that you throw... You know, they might come up and you can feed them like a carrot. But you feed them. They're not dangerous. Are they poison? No. And Grant's no, no. taking off layers while this conversation's happening. What the fuck are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. Definitely you want. undoing her own corset. Like, <laughs> I am um, going swimming, and you are more than welcome to join me. Wait, can you perception check the water to make sure there's something hiding? Yeah, beach no, episode! <laughs> <laughs> you get your beach episode on the bank of yes. a river. <laughs> Uh, 16? Yeah, no, the water is very clear. There's a fairly swift current. Like, it wouldn't just take you somewhere. But, like, you gotta keep an eye on where you're actually, like, how far down you swim. Yeah. Let's go swimming. <laughs> She's like, woo! Yeah, I'm down to, like, my shift layer. Like, okay. Like, underdress. What are you wearing kind of just on watching. your head? I'll leave. Uh... That's a good question. I will take off the decorative scarves, like the one that Remember gave me and the lace ones. You can do like the um, George Washington thing you do in the pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and leave. I imagine at this point I probably used one of the like linen pieces from my new wardrobe and have used that as like a base. Okay. Like how when people do hair wraps, they mm -hmm. have like a shaper kind of an idea. I imagine okay. I've created one of those out of like a not as nice, nice fabric. Nice. So I probably left that on. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and is Remember joining them in this? Hell no. <laughs> Just, no, so, no, Angra, no. Um, we're not necessarily near the bridge, but she kind of finds, like, a rock outcropping. And winks at remember, and then just like swan dives. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> oh, look right. at my dragon! Yeah, Angrod, he's my dragon, remember? And then I just put the cloak <laughs> in her hand. And he like peeks out, he like wiggles his way out and like oh, flops okay. his head out of the hood, and he's like, What's it? Bath! You can go oh, bath! <laughs> He's like staring at the river and like glancing at remember. He's like, Bath! Toss him in here! Are you, are you sure? Are you, you wanna go? And he like, he like <laughs> comes out of the hood and like pinpricks his way up to remember's shoulder and just, Bath! <laughs> remember like crouches up by the side of the water and like picks a bit of it up in her hand and like. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and he like he like splashes his front paws in it and he's just bath. <laughs> this creature is so <laughs> cute. <laughs> yeah, he like, yeah. finds like throw a him spot in here. close not going to throw him. close to the water, but not like right near where all the noise and splashing is, but somewhere where like he can still kind of see them and he can still hear the water running. Okay. And he's gonna like meditate there. I think he's right. flying right now, right? Can he fly? Way to find it. <laughs> hey, Are you, try flying to me. He like opens his wings up and like flaps them a couple times, but continues to hold on to the sash that remembers wearing. <laughs> bath, fly, bath. <laughs> He's just like holding on. Sweet bully. Remember, bring my child to me. <laughs> Remember, fully fucking clothed is inching into the water <laughs> and like if something moves, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, they get to, and she's eight fucking foot tall, so she'd probably be able to, like, get out toward the middle of the lake before yeah. it started getting up to, like, chest height, and then she can just kind of, like, lean down a little bit so he can touch the water. <laughs> he just proceeds to, like, slash his paws at it and then, like, pinprick his way down Remember's arm, 
And he continues to hold on and, like, kind of lets the current, like, sway him. Aww. And he's got his wings out and he goes, Fly bath! <laughs> look, look, fly bath! Good boy. <laughs> I love him. And he's just wings out, <laughs> like. Look at my cute oh, little water yeah. dragon. Look at you go. <laughs> and he goes, Mom bath! And he's just. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like swaying with the current, it and then he like, so and then he goes, and he climbs up onto the top of Remember's head because it's like warm from the sun, and just like curls up. Good. You're so doing good. great. I believe in you. <laughs> he's and he just continues to go bath, bath, fly bath. You, you can feel him like gnawing on a braid. A good boy. Remember, good boy. do you want to see the most inefficient way to get through the water? You're going to show me no matter what I say next, so like go Starts for it. doing the butterfly stroke <laughs> towards your member. Just like and she's very good at it because you know in Agord they don't do the type of swimming that works. They do yeah. the type of swimming that's like beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I, I Agrod is from a uh, harbor town. Like her family does shipping stuff. She knows how to swim, but she also knows how to show off. So she's yeah. like butterfly stroking <laughs> towards her member. Look at how cool I am. <laughs> Yep, so you guys proceed to bathe in the river. <laughs> Just doing the most. <laughs> like you see you see like a clack coming by that's like pulling a wagon full of hay to some other farm. And they kinda like glance over at the noise, but they like keep on going. Um So yeah, so you go ahead. I'm gonna go down the stream because it's a river, right? Yeah. I'm trying to find a place that's a little bit private. Okay. And like, just take a quick bath, like, because he hasn't. Yeah, he has not. Um, so we had a great chance to. Can so. Like, in here. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna Ew. take his quick like bath and like. Out of sight. Yeah. It's like Travis being like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, okay? You trying to like pull a grift here? No, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> you'll never do it. <laughs> so yeah, you go ahead and you you all bathe and get clean and have a good time on the river for a little while. Um, and what else happens after your little mini swim beach? Your beach episode. Your mini beach episode. <laughs> mini beach episode. <laughs> what else happens in this four days? Thames and makes jewelry. Thames and makes some jewelry. Let's fight something. <laughs> um. We don't have to. It's up. I don't know if you will fight anything in the next. Who knows how long. But I don't know if you'll get to that point of like stuff I've got written is my thing. Um. Everybody roll a d6. And whoever has matching numbers had a bonding session. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yes, let's do that. Do it. Everybody roll a d6. <laughs> yes. What if none of us have matching numbers? We won't. It's theoretically possible. I got a four. One, two. Oh, go ahead. I got a three. She's got a five? All right, who am I bonding with? <laughs> what? No. Ah! <laughs> All right, no, no, no. Here, here, here. This is fucking impossible. <laughs> I will decide which two of you have bonded episodes. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh no. You should have done like D4s. Alright. That's amazing. That is hysterical. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. I'm eating this last cookie. Let's see. Okay. Who got six? Nobody. Yeah, that was the number we didn't get. That's wild. So, All right. the six of us, we just got, rolled one through six. Who yeah, got one? That's insane. Me. Uh, Alright, so Temzin, you're gonna have a bonding session with five. Three. Alright, so yeah. Safine and Temzin. Um, <laughs> Safine and Temzin on the road one night, you guys hang back at the campsite with Hiss. We talk about our dead parents. <laughs> as, uh, as the other three head towards a homestead because one of Remembers, uh, Remembers horse threw a shoe. Oh. So you head. So the three of you decide to head towards the homestead to see if you can't get some help. Uh, leaving Safine and Temzin. Cool. Then we bond. Ah. Yep. <laughs> oh no! Y'all have to play it out. 
Y'all gotta do it. What are you bargaining about? What are you bargaining, stranger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you selling? How's Keck doing? <laughs> he is good. Is he getting bigger at this point? Not yet. It's only been, like, you've only had him really for just over a week now. He's doing good. I'm waiting for the day that he gets too big for this hood. And he, like, yes. peeks his head out That's at the head. mention of his name. And I'm like, you're getting so chubby, and I, like, scratch it under his neck. <laughs> he, like, thrums a little bit. Who's gonna be a human? Is he goes... Yeah, only and the bad ones. Though. He goes, bad, bad ones. The bad ones. It's weird having a kid. <laughs> I suppose. Why uh, do you say that? Well, the Targodas don't really believe in having children in the sense that when they're born, they're suddenly collegiates, <laughs> like destined to be higher people, of like priests and priestesses and whatnot. So your training starts very young. Hmm. So that's always strange. Childhood is not much. There's not much to that. So you were trained from very young? Yes, I had a bit of a different upbringing since I'm half human, half elf. And my mom passed away very early on. And she was the human side, so that was super awkward. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That um, can be very tough, not having your parents. I would imagine you would know something probably about that. A little bit. I actually never even met to my parents. They're not a part of the monk thing? No, no, um, that was quite a bit later on. All I really remember is just being on the streets don't really know where I'm from, or where my parents are from, and uh, being part of, being with the, being a part of the order and being with the monks is kind of the only family I've known. It, it's not really um, a family, it's more of like a, a hierarchy, if you will. I understand that. Well, is it the same with your training? My father was warm, as warm as he could be, especially given the climate, both physically and socioeconomically, that was always strange. But, yes, Tardothian society, there's not much warmth there other than, I did have a good childhood friend growing up, both of us kind of wanted a bit of our own childhood and we found that in each other, but my father worked in grief stricken from my mother's passing, so there wasn't much family togetherness. If you don't mind me asking, how did your mother pass? Um, she took part in the Tardothian tradition of priestesshood and did not make it out, which is a bit taboo for my people. Especially since she was a human, that's never. And she wasn't from Tardona. So it was a lot of things hinging on that, and I guess the nerves got to her and she just didn't make it. So that's part of the reason my father was so grief stricken is you with the man who brought in a foreigner who couldn't. Have you explained to us the necklace and the poison? Um, I don't think I really explained it to the the poison necklace is gone. I like I have the right. yeah, no, they were like they saw that happen. And but you didn't really explain it in any depth. Yeah, I didn't I didn't explain it to you guys okay. like what happened. It's a coming of age ceremony of Tardotith if you'd like to become a priest or a priestess, which if you live in Tardotith, why wouldn't you? And you make a poison. There's a lot of steps to it, but in the short, the most dangerous part is taking the poison that you made for specifically yourself. And then you have, from the time you take the poison to the time that you die, which is usually about two minutes, 
to revive yourself or to heal yourself. Mm, it has 40% success rate. Wow. Did you have to do that? In a way. But I don't really want to talk about it. I understand. It can uh, be hard to talk about things from your past. Yes. As uh, Remember would say, it's a fucked up country. Uh, I think she would say that's about pretty much every country that's not her home country. That's fair. Uh, quite an interesting bunch we've found ourselves traveling with. Who's the bunch of misfits? Indeed, all with our own troubles, but yet, for some reason, the gods and fate have smiled on us. I guess you could say smiled. Well, now my lips are blue and I like poison people every time I kiss them, so I'm not sure I feel so so confident about that last part. Well, we haven't died yet, <laughs> so that's a plus. It is. Unless, of course, I mean, it's fate's will for that to happen, but... They can suck it. <laughs> if fate chooses to, I suppose. <laughs> Tamsin's <laughs> <laughs> sitting there contemplating if fate can actually suck it or not. <laughs> well, either way, I'm glad we have you on our team. You, uh, you help out a lot, and there's been, uh, you, uh, situations where it's been good that you've been here, so. That's very generous of you. I'm glad to be a part of the team. With, one, with so many people on it that are cunning and clever and well-rounded like yourself. <laughs> so it means, like, you're cool, I guess. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. I won't mention it. She just walks off. <laughs> <laughs> and what would... So, the rest of the horses would have been there, and you guys, the three of you, um, you managed to get the horse, like, reshoed. Um, and in fact, they didn't even have you pay for it. They just wanted the... Uh, they just used a couple nails that they already had to get the shoe back on, and they just asked that you help them, like, split some wood. And that was done easily. What do you guys do on your walk back to the campsite? So I don't fucking understand this. They do have horses, but then they were like, no, we're not going to use the horses. We're going to use these clacky things, and fuck knows how they even work. You have horses. They have horses. Why don't you use horses? Horses die? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> to be honest uh, I am from a place where we more use uh, ships and boats where I was from uh, but it, it is strange to see something as you call it mechanical <laughs> we have lots of those things you'll see more of them as we get to Waterdale it's wonderful is it? you've sworn yes. off a natural force well, in order to be able to create these things, and they're wonderful, I'm sure, but uh, is it worth denouncing everything? In truth, I was never the one who denounced it. 
I mean, my great-great ancestors did, and I was born into this. And you find good things. I mean, I guess we wouldn't have been able to get rid of a specter without some sort of whatever she did. <laughs> but I enjoy those freedoms. In truth, I'm not as strict against them as I used to be. I don't understand why we cannot have balance. In really, you hit something, you stab something, and then there will be someone to patch you up later on, and they may use magic, or they may use herbs and a poultice and tourniquets. Why can't you have both? Why can't there be balance between all things? The world is built on magic. Everything that you know, everything that is, came from magic. It is built on magic, but it is inhabited by people who use their minds in order to create things. Why can't these things exist together? I suppose it's a can, but the idea is that you do not acknowledge the origins, that you do not acknowledge the the magic and the gods that make it all possible is asinine to me. They acknowledge it, they just don't use it. I don't use it. I don't need to use it. I use my skill in battle, I use my knowledge of the terrain, I use my really sick arms. <laughs> you don't need to arms. use magic in order to walk through this world and understand my place and the place of the gods. Yeah, and you do not need to, but I think that uh, to the extent that the Galanians have taken it in, in denouncing it, it's it reframes the world in a way that makes it impossible to move through it knowingly. The way we were always taught it was that it leveled the playing field. Was that for people who can't use magic and people who can, it doesn't make a difference in Garan. That if you can think well and thoroughly that you can succeed and you don't need to have magic in order to make something of yourself in order to defend yourself in order to heal and I see how things have been lost because of it but I think that it could have been born out of protection for those who couldn't defend themselves against magic users leading eventually to prosecution of those of us that possess it well, isn't that ir ironic? Is it the chest? Probably not. But there are people working against it. Good people. Yeah, decent people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Water Vale I'm all right. has. <laughs> <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> but there are good people working to lessen the persecution. Then I shall look forward to meeting them. You shall. I'm not one of them. The good ones, at least. I think you might underestimate yourself. Alright. So you guys get back to camp. That was very productive, y'all!